Here you got a 2010, early 2010 pewter. And I'm hoping he's ready. He's 790 grams right now. But pretty much 800. Still eating like a beast. I'm gonna feed him today. He's gonna probably get a good 850, 900 grams before the season is out. So I'm hoping he's ready. I put him with a couple of girls, haven't seen any kind of interest there. But I haven't really seen anything in any of the males, so still cooling them down. It's still early, so hopefully he'll be ready. He's a good looking pewter. As they get older, they get a little brown. When I first got him, he he had orange, yellow tones. And kinda look like a light purple on the top. But then as you see, when they get older, they get a little browned out. That's the pastel in him, browning him out. So that's the cinnamon and pastel gene. We'll let her put them to everything. The spider, the lesser, the pinch right. You get a lot of good stuff. But this is one of the males. I'm hoping that might, you know, well, more than might. He should be ready this year. Here's a yellow belly, a male, 1,050 grams. I got them just for this season, hopefully to breed out a few uh, pastel yellow belly females for breeding projects. And uh, he's in shed right now. He, I just took him out of the same cage as my um, pastel female. And they're both in shed. So they're not doing nothing. I'm going to put them back in his own rack. He, he isn't that exciting. I've seen some more exciting yellow bellies, but as long as he got the gene in him, we're good. That is the, that's a 2009 yellow belly. Okay, I'm not gonna show the Mojave. He's with the lesser right now, I'm trying to get some blue eyed Lucy's, but Boy, if this little boy right here gets ready, this is an inchy, um, 400 grams right now. So I can get him ready in a good two months. I don't know if he'll be ready to breed, but he'll be to the size. Um, it'd be great to put him with a lot of stuff. I might change plans if he was, if he ended up being ready, everything I was gonna put the pewter to, I would put him with them. I would put him with the pastel, the pinstripe. I might continue to put the pewter with the spider, but I'll put him with the lesser. I'll just, I'll put him with everything and see what happens. Double sire a few clutches and see what, what comes out. So 400 grams is growing like a weed, nice inchy. Here's my Poss Double Hat Clown Hypo, who I don't think is gonna make it in the breeding projects this year. Cause uh, I might wanna put him to the lesser next year um, or a pastel. I'm already working on a recessive project, so I don't wanna have too many recessive projects going at one time. Get one done and then go to the next one. But he'll be ready. And um, I'm hoping he he's gonna have both genes there. Cause that's huge. Get some clown hypos, but maybe lesser clown hypos. That would just be insane. All right. If I didn't mention yet, he's 720 grams. All of them are rat eaters. I got all of everything eating rats right now. Here go two more backup breeder males. Um, this one right here is a little bit more than a backup breeder. Um, another recessive project, pastel possible hit, genetic strike. I got this way back when I had the genetic strike female, but I don't have her no more, so he's gonna be put on the burner for now. You know, maybe next season, or maybe when I get another genetic strike. 
Um, and then this is a pastel boy who I was gonna sell a long time ago, but just always was bright and was holding this color really good. It's a really nice male, blushed out, nice pattern. Uh, I'm wrestling with the other one over here in the other hand, uh, but he is 930 grams. This other one is 811 grams. So worst case scenario, if the other males aren't doing it, I might put this male or, or maybe I'll try to start with the pastel genetic stripe to the females and just get bumblebees, lemon blasts, whatever. And that's worst case scenario. I wouldn't be too excited with that project for now. But uh, yeah, I'm wrestling around with this one right here. Um, but those are these two guys right here. And that's a nice pastel, so that'll make some nice nice animals in the future. It's getting big. Eating great. So that's it's be real it. short. But believe it or not, when I put the Mojave right here with the lesser, I put a new piece of paper in there. And it's been three days. And look at this. It's just they pissed, they marked their territory. I mean, not marked the territory, but they've been breeding. Those are signs of breeding. I haven't caught them in a lockup. But anytime you see that, and that's why I use white paper. Yeah, the video cut off, so I'm gonna make another real short clip. Um, when I first walked in the room, they were like this. And then I, when I was moving around, he kind of stretched out as you saw before. So I walked out for a few more minutes and he's right back on her. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave him alone. Hopefully get some blue-eyed Lucy's. I hope to double sire the clutch. I want that inchy to get in there and give me a inchy lesser too. So I can get a blue-eyed Lucy and an inchy lesser in the same clutch. That'd be crazy. But this was clean. I keep them clean. When you read your ball pythons, you'll see this is what they'll do. If you have them on paper, if you have them on anything else, you're not gonna notice. You're not gonna notice all of that. So, all right. Wish me good luck.